Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. I know on this channel I do a lot of vlogs about my travels, my adventures, exploring other places, but sometimes I do the occasional video where I'm sitting at home talking to you about something that I've done or something that I'm interested in. And as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you and giving you my review of the Sydney Harbour Bridge Climb. So back in November, I took a holiday to Sydney. I was there for nine or 10 days and I was just exploring the city and really having a great time seeing all the things that I'd always wanted to see. I've always wanted to go to Sydney. And of course, one of the things that was on the list of things that you have to do in Sydney is climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So I definitely knew that I wanted to do it. I was a little bit apprehensive about it because I wasn't sure how kind of scary it was going to be, how high it was going to be. And it was something that I didn't book in advance because even though I knew that I was going to do it, I was a little bit apprehensive about doing it. I was anxious about doing it. And every time I went on a ferry in Sydney and I went under the bridge and I saw the tiny little people climbing up the top, I thought there's no way I can do that. But it was one of those bucket list items that I just knew I had to do. So I decided to be bold and brave and just book it. I didn't book it until like two days before I did the climb. And yeah, it was one of those things I just knew I had to do because I don't know when I'm going to be back in Sydney again. So I thought I just have to do it. And I knew that I was going to love it, but I was very, very nervous about it. So on the day of my climb, I got ready. I walked to the bridge climb building, which is actually not very far from where my hotel was. Um, so that was good. I didn't have to travel far. And everyone that I met, even the, the woman that was standing by the door, she was very helpful. I had to fill in a form to... I don't know, sign my rights away, I guess, if there was an accident, or maybe it was just to see if I was healthy enough to do the climb. Um, I can't quite remember what was on the form, but you have to fill in a form at reception. I took it to the desk and I gave it to the guy at the desk. And actually, luckily enough, um, I was quite early. So they asked me if I wanted to go on to the next available climb, which was not the climb that I was actually booked on. My climb was like 15, 20 minutes later. So I thought, yeah, why not? So I quickly ran upstairs to the waiting area where there are a few other people waiting and I hitched a ride on this next available climb. So I was actually the only person up there in the group that was on my own. I think there were two other couples and then there was a group of four people, I think, or f five people. I can't remember. Um, so I was, yeah, I was the only one there that was on my own. So I, already I was quite nervous about doing the climb and I didn't really have anyone to reassure me about anything. So when the time came to do the start the climb, the preparations for the climb. We were taken into a small room. We had to watch this video about the bridge and um, we had to, I don't know, I think we had to take a breathalyzer just to make sure that we weren't drunk, I guess. So we all had to breathe into a kind of machine. I'm pretty sure that's what we had to do. Uh, luckily, we all passed and it was good. And then we moved on to the next area where we were given clothes. So we have to wear this kind of unflattering outfit. I feel like mine was way too big for me. Um, but you know, it's just one of those things. It was fine. It wasn't that bad. So you got changed and then you wait in the area. And then I think after that, it was when the climb leader comes over to you. And so this is the person that is going to be taking you up the Sydney Harbour Bridge and back down again. Um, so yeah, we had a bridge climb leader who was actually really, really nice. He was really cool. I think his name was Sam. And um, yeah, it was just, he was really nice, not just with me, but with everybody in the group. I definitely felt more reassured talking to him. I think maybe he could tell that I was nervous, but um, I don't know. He was just really comforting. I think a lot of the people that work there are really nice people and they really do their best to make you feel comfortable and to make you feel like you're going to have a really enjoyable experience. Um, so I, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to the staff members at the Bridge Climb building in all areas, you know, people from the door, people from reception, people to prepare you at the top, and then the people obviously who take you up and climb uh, with you. Um, so yeah, so there's a part of the preparations where you have to practice climbing up a few steps. So you go up and you go back down, which is really cool because it gives you a little bit of an idea of what it's going to be like up there. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, but then, um, yeah, it's really cool. And I think it's at that point where they give you a hat. So this is the hat that I get, I got when I was going up the bridge climb. You don't have to wear it. You don't have to take it, but quite a few people do wear it. I wore mine up there, um, which is really cool. And 
yeah, I think they prepare you, they tell you how things are going to work. And I felt really safe after that preparation time because I had more of an idea of what the bridge climb is going to be like. Because as I said, I was a little bit nervous. So after that point, that's when the bridge climb really starts. So I followed the climb leader. I think I was behind the climb leader in the group and then everyone else was behind me. I think probably because I was nervous and on my own and maybe he just didn't want me to be at the back. But um, yeah, we started the climb. It is one of those things that was really, it was, it was awesome. I have to say like the beginning bit is probably the scariest bit if you're afraid of heights because you have to walk across the bridge to get to the part where you start climbing. And that's the bit where it's quite like a little bit wobbly and you can see right down to the street, right down to the water. And yeah, that's probably the bit where there was a girl in my group who was a little bit nervous. And I think that was one of the parts where she was really quite nervous. But then once you start climbing up the stairs and once you get to the bridge, I mean, it's just really awesome. I really can't tell you enough how amazing it is. I mean, the views, are absolutely incredible. Um, I just, you know, when you have a picture in your head, because the climb leaders in the climb obviously take pictures of you at certain points and they know the best places to take pictures, obviously. And I'd seen a couple of pictures before I did the climb. And you know, when you have a, a, a picture in your head of what you want your image to look like, I really wanted mine to look like that. And I'm gonna stick a couple of pictures of me at the end of this review, but I was really happy with how mine turned out. The climb leader was really good at taking pictures. The climb leader was just really good at making conversation, making you feel safe, making you feel comfortable at all points during the climb. And I definitely was very appreciative for that because as I said, I was on my own and I was a little bit anxious, but yeah, it was just phenomenal. The climb lasts, I don't know, maybe about two hours, um, not including obviously the preparation stuff at the beginning. Um, so it's quite a long period of time, but it's definitely worth it. The time went by so quickly. Um, and before I knew it, the climb was finishing. I kind of like didn't want it to end because I was having such a great experience. I mean, I did the summit climb, but I think there's two other climbs that you can do. One is a inside summit, which is, I guess, not so scary. And one is the ultimate summit, which I think you go all the way over the bridge and back or something like that. I'm not sure, but I just did the summit, which is, I think, the standard climb that people do. Um, but yeah, I mean, the climb leader tells you a lot about Sydney, tells you a lot about the history of certain parts that you can see looking out um, around you. It was very, very informative. You get headphones so that when he speaks, you can hear you can hear him clearly, even if you're at the back, um, which I thought was really great. I mean, I don't know if everybody listens completely to the stories, but I was really immersed into the stories um, and it was really interesting. And I just, I loved the views. It was really, really cool. I mean, by the time I got back down afterwards, I kind of wanted to do it again. And I think I, I am probably going to Sydney again at some point in the future, and I'm definitely gonna do the climb again. But I would say that overall, the experience was absolutely fantastic. I felt so safe the whole time. Like even if you're afraid of heights, okay, maybe there might be some points where you're a little bit nervous, but I think you can do it. I think anyone can do it. I don't even think you have to necessarily be that fit to do it. It wasn't that, well, for me at least, it wasn't that challenging in terms of fitness levels. Um, and I'm not a particularly fit person. You know, I'm not in the gym every single day, but uh, yeah, I think anyone can do it. And I think it's definitely something that people should do. Overall, I mean, it was just amazing. At the end, you get a certificate that says that you climbed, uh, which is a really cool souvenir. So I've got that and the hat, which is really awesome. And yeah, I mean, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen other videos um, of the bridge climb. You've probably maybe done it yourself, but if you haven't done it, if you're thinking about doing it, honestly, just do it. I can't give enough credit to the bridge climb company, I guess. I, everyone there was really, really nice. Um, even people that, you know, weren't involved in our group, people that would walk past, they would always smile. They would always be like really nice. Um, you know, they were just yeah, nice, I guess. I'm saying that word a lot, but yeah, I can't I can't credit it enough. It was an amazing experience and I really want to do it again because um, you can also do twilight climbs and 
what's one dawn climbs so you get to see it at sunset or sunrise and i would absolutely love to do it you can also do it at night when it's dark and i guess you can see the city lights all lit up which i think would be great i'd love to do it at all different times but yeah overall absolutely fantastic i recommend the bridge climb to absolutely everyone and yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone that worked at the Bridge Climb for making it a fantastic experience. It was one of those bucket list items I had to check off. I'm so glad I did it and I want to do it again. And yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. So thank you to everyone at the Bridge Climb. And if you haven't done it, you should definitely do it. And before I go, here are a few pictures of me on the bridge. So enjoy and see you guys next time.